All right, so I've been getting a number of comments on you know various videos, um, sort of in response to me saying in the uh, the last video that I was a vegan, um, and I just wanted to talk a very just very briefly about you know why I'm a vegan, uh, and but specifically you know before you click away, uh, I want to talk about how veganism can help you lucid dream uh, better, um, and this is sort of like an indirect video because you know when it really comes down to it. If you just go vegan and just stop eating meat and dairy, that won't automatically make you, you know, a better lucid dreamer, but it will do a few things. Okay, so firstly, um, I'm trying to think of how to start this really. Firstly, you've got to understand that meat and dairy are inflammatory. So the second you ingest something like, uh, like a burger or a sausage or whatever, um, it will have an inflammatory response immediately. Um, and over a long period of time, that can contribute to things like, you know, diabetes, cancer, various different things. Um, I'm not going to go into the science of it at all in this video because, you know, to be honest, the research is out there and that's not what I'm here to do. Um, all I'm trying to explain is that that inflammatory response over a long period of time causes something called chronic inflammation. And one of the side effects of that is that your dreams are less vivid and, you know, in general, you're less healthy. <laughs> I mean, obviously, right? Um, and so indirectly, as a result of that, um, you will find that you just don't dream as much or as, you know, as lucidly as you would if you had a plant-based diet. Now, this is one of those strange sort of subjective things where, you know, I don't think there's been any studies done to specifically prove the relationship between veganism and lucid dreaming. But, sorry, that sun has just come out of nowhere and it's blinding. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, the research... It's probably going to be. It's probably going to come at some point, right? But at the moment, there's no specific research showing uh, a link between lucid dreaming and veganism. However, there is a link between veganism and feeling healthier. You know, having a an immunity, a better immunity to all sorts of diseases, especially chronic illnesses like um, like cancer and the ones we spoke about before. And as a result of that, you know, you're going to dream more. They're going to be more vivid and so that's, that's it really. I just wanted to share my personal experiences now, uh, having been vegan for almost eight, I think eight to 10 months now. Um, and you know, in doing that, I've experienced not only more strength, more energy, um, I felt better. I've been able to think more clearly, but as a result also, I've had much more, many more lucid dreams than I've ever had before in my life. And you know, this might be because of going vegan, or it might be because, you know, I'm just getting more experience at lucid dreaming. I've been doing it for several years and it's just it's sort of a good time of year, maybe. Um, but I have noticed, you know, a very sudden increase in the amount of lucid dreams from the moment I stopped go, uh, eating meat and dairy. Um, I'd say sort of about two to three weeks after I went vegan, I noticed an increase in my dreams. Uh, I was able to remember them, you know, very clearly as if they'd just happened. Uh, and you know, this, this would be sort of days or even weeks later. So, you know, I'm not going to preach it. You guys, you know, everyone can make their own decision about diet. It's entirely up to you. The research is out there. Um, if you want to watch a documentary, I'd recommend, uh, what the health, I think it's on Netflix at the moment, but that's neither here nor there. All I'm trying to say is I've personally found that going vegan has meant that I've had more lucid dreams. I've been more in control. They've been more vivid. I've felt better and I've been able to remember them clearer. So that's it really. I just wanted to explain, you know, why I mentioned that in the last video. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's interesting to maybe one or two of you, but I don't know. That's just what I wanted to share in this video. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and please leave a comment as well. Just letting me know, you know, what your thoughts are. I know that vegan, the whole vegan uh, topic is very polarizing. So, you know, we're probably going to have some negative comments probably going to have some positive comments from those who are vegan. I don't know. It's, it's one of those polarizing topics, but personally, as a lucid dreamer and as a vegan, I've noticed the link between the two. Um, but I'd really like to hear, you know, any of your opinions about this, whether you've done this, you know, maybe you're a vegan and you've noticed you've since going vegan, you've had more lucid dreams. I don't know. Uh, or it, what even more interesting would be if you have never gone vegan before, but you've been considering it, you know, you've been thinking about it. Um, and you wouldn't mind trying it out for a month, why don't you just try it for 30 days and then see what happens? See if you notice an increase in your dreams or if you become lucid more 
um, I mean, what, what have you got to lose? It's just a slight change in your diet, right? And you can go back to eating as you do in 30 days if you don't like it. Um, and that's sort of on a side note here. That's why I started it as well. You know, I read an article explaining how it makes you healthier and feel better. And I thought, well, okay, well, what if it's true? What if it does? So I said, right, I'm going to give myself 20 to 30 days where I will try it out and see what happens. And if it's if it if I don't feel better and if it's awful and hard to stick to, then I'll just go back to eating meat and dairy. Uh, but what obviously happened was, you know, pretty soon, I'd say about a week or two into the the challenge, I guess you could say, uh, I just immediately noticed more energy. I felt stronger. I felt better. And so I just saw no reason to go back to eating meat and dairy. And then from there, obviously, I have watched various other documentaries showing like the cruelty to animals. And there's there's all sorts of aspects, really, uh, which sort of influence people's decisions regarding veganism. But it just comes down to personal preference and, and personal, you know, how you feel. And for me, I just felt better. So that's the reason. Um, but yeah, if you haven't, if you've been considering it or, you, you know, maybe you wouldn't mind giving it a try, just do it for 30 days and then leave a comment on one of my future videos uh, saying, you know, this is what I did. I felt better or I felt worse, whatever you, whatever you felt. And, you know, I had more lucid dreams, I had less lucid dreams, that sort of thing. Um, I'd also like to shout out to any other lucid dreaming YouTubers. Um, I know there are a few that are still active. Um, for example, Giz Edwards, he's a quite a popular YouTuber. Um, I'd like to hear your opinions on, opinions on this as well. I mean, I know obviously I've not given much or any science in this video. It's a very subjective and personal opinion, um, just based on what I've experienced and what I've noticed. So I would love to hear your opinions or even your experiences if you have any in this area. So yeah, please go ahead and either respond or leave a comment, make a video. And yeah, interesting to hear what everybody has to say. See you next time.